Hi, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use a great new feature in Silhouette Studio Designer Edition 3.3 .3 or higher, and that's Vector PDF Import. And here's an example of something you might want to do with that. If you have some Word art in Microsoft Word, like this that I've created, or maybe you have some text that you've created in Microsoft Word and you've added the extra flourishes. I'm not going to go into the details of how to do this in Microsoft Word because it turns out it's different in every version and it wouldn't do you a lot of good, but you can Google it for the version that you have. Google Word Art in Microsoft Word version blah 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 Windows or Mac or uh, how to access the open type features in Microsoft Word 11 for Mac or whatever and you'll be able to set this up. But I've already set up a document here with some fancy uh, f alternates for Samantha and some word art and all I'm going to do now is go to File, Save As and I'm going to go to PDF. I don't have to install anything, I don't have to have a Mac and it's all built in to Microsoft Word. You, all versions of Microsoft Word have PDF saving capability so this is built in no matter what version you have. I'm going to save it. It's automatically saved into my doctor, documents folder and then I'm going to go to Silhouette Studio. Again I need version 3.3 .3 or higher because this is a new edition. I'm going to go to my documents folder. I'm going to grab that file that I just saved and I'm going to drag and drop it. Now it's going to come up and say do I want to import as a vector or import as an image? I want to import as a vector. I can leave this group checked um, and this doesn't matter because I'm importing as a vector. So I'm going to click on import and I'm going to give it a second and it will load that up. And now you can see that this comes in. I can ungroup that. and I can treat these these objects separately now and if I go to the cut styles you will see that these are fully cuttable vectors. I didn't have to trace or anything and the advantage of doing this over some sort of tracing is that I get full quality vector to vector and I'm good to go. This would work if you did a full text of an invitation in Microsoft Word, if you did Word Art in Microsoft Word, even some of the clip art in Microsoft Word will transfer over as a vector. Easy peasy, no, no file conversions, no anything extra to install. Just save as PDF and open it right up in Silhouette Studio. So love this new feature of version 3.3. .3. You're going to find yourself using it all the time. And here's just one example, Microsoft Word. Hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching.